Hello, this is Joe Johnson from uh, Universal Mind. Today I want to show a, uh, a branded music player built in Adobe Air to showcase some of the runtime CSS uh, skinning application changes you can do to an application. So let me start the uh, just a simple um, branded music player. And as you can see, it's just a simple music player that's branded in this instance for AT&T uh, with some uh, skinning for the uh, the progress slider here. So that's the only actual element that's physically being changed at the moment here, being a, a skin and not just being an image. But what we can do is we can actually um, hit the little information icon here and actually change some of the options on the particular application. So we can actually switch this out for a Gap branded uh, particular Air application. So as you can see, still have all the um, features of doing everything you can with a regular Air application and moving all the assets around. We can get a little um, more intricate and show a, a more of a gap branded uh, this particular the red campaign that they have. So basically, what you can do is uh, the slider's still moving, everything's pretty much the same content-wise, but you can skin this application in numerous ways. Uh, and also, we have a little fun one here with Kanye West. So this has a little bit more transparency and a little bit more overlays and stuff, but still the same. Uh, changing the skins and, and showing the media player playing there but uh, and you can actually minimize all the same stuff so if you wanted to we can obviously switch back and forth between different skins but it gives you the capability of switching these skins at runtime using uh, just a CSS uh, to be able to change a lot of that stuff um, at runtime so you'll be able to have a little more flexibility in your application if you want to change uh, skins um, whether it be runtime, run updates, whatever you might want to do. Uh, thank you again this is Joe Johnson from Universal Mind.